Hello, this is R-I-C-K-Y, the Android guy. Hey guys, so today I'm bringing you the benchmark test for the Lenovo A1000. Uh, so we're going to be running uh, three tests on this. Normally I do run the 3D benchmark test, but I had to substitute because the 3D benchmark test does not work on this tablet. Um, it said it was incompatible uh, when I tried to launch the um, app. So. We're going to go through Intuitu, Quadrant, and Geekbench 2. So first, let's go through, actually first let's go through Quadrant. Just because I like that. Uh, I hate this little, uh, I'll go over that later on in another video, but yes. So uh, first of all, let's check out the system info on here. So this is Android 4.1.2. Uh, on the on this tablet, so not the newest version, but still uh, at least it's a jelly bean. Uh, you do have, of course, a 1.2 uh, gigahertz processor. It's a dual core processor, and it's still an older architect. Um, Real to the A7. I would assume this is the A9, but I could be wrong. I mean, this is telling me I'm wrong, but we'll see. Um, in terms of the screen resolution, uh, for some reason this one is sometimes lower than what the brand says the screen resolution is. So the brand says, you know, screen resolution is 1024 by, I want to say 624, if I'm remembering off the top of my head, but this says it's only 600 by 976. Um, and I'm not sure of that. I really kind of going to look more into that because even their own built-in wallpapers don't look clear. They look like fuzzy. So I found that really kind of interesting about that. And in terms of a graphics card, you don't have uh, the sharpest one, you know, uh, Power VR uh, 531, but we'll see how that runs in the gaming test later. All right, so let's run the full benchmark and let's see how this does. And again, if there's enough uh, viewers that are interested, we might do the A3000 as well. This is the A1000 Lenovo, the one for 149. There's also an A3000 Lenovo for 179. However, you lose the front speakers but gain a rear camera. So, not really sure which one's better. I liked the front speaker idea better, but yes. And show you the frames per second at the bottom there. See how it runs. I really want to see some new videos for these benchmark tests. You know, it's kind of like once you've seen the planets revolve around, you kind of, you've seen it all. And there we go. So now let's see how it's scored. And this one scored, um, so lower than the Asus Prime from last year with the Tegra 3 processor, uh, better than the original Atrix 4G, so not the Atrix 2, but the original Atrix 4G, better than the Galaxy Nexus, um, and as well as the Tab 10.1. Uh, not better than the One X or the uh, Asus Prime from last year, though. Okay. And now the Intuitu benchmark test, we'll try this out. So last time we did get a 6822, and then we'll try this one again, and start the test. Now again, we're not expecting stellar scores here, but you know, we want at least decent scores. Like, will this be a Enough for a daily user if you are a little bit more techy and just want a basic tablet. Screen is very reflective.
And now the knights of old. And of course, this is the newest one, the goblin with the ninjas. So reflective, I can see the tripod on the camcorder more than I can the image on the screen. All right, and this one time it did a little better. That's 7,007. Let me see the CPU, GPU, RAM, and I.O. How I did. Let's submit this. And then let's go to the chart and see how it compares. All right. So in this one, it does score better than the original uh, Kindle Fire. But in this one, it actually scores below the Nexus, as well as the S2, and even the original Galaxy Note. So definitely scoring lower than um, models from last year, and even, or two to three years ago, actually. Well, no, two years, two years. Three years? Three years ago. Uh, so definitely some older devices are would be more accurate to this. But comparing to one of its main competitors, the Nexus 7, um, it's far below that. So yeah, um, not doing so well on that one. And let's try the last one, which is uh, Geekbench 2. And again, here we have the basic specs for it. And now let's run the test. All right, so 881, that does not seem like that high of a score. Let's see how it ranked. Uh, yeah, so uh, no, not very high at all. Um, it, on here, it actually scores below the uh, original Droid Razor. Um, and again, Galaxy Nexus and S2. Above the Nexus 1, it's like four years old, <laughs> but um, yeah, so not scored very well on here. Uh, but there you have it, that's the benchmarks for the uh, Lenovo A1000. If you guys have any questions on this device, feel free to ask. This has been RSCKY, the Android guy.